the beginners band was started in 1903, uh, was set up by the union to get miners' children into playing. This band was set up about 30 years ago um, as a result of the lottery providing money for the senior band to have new instruments. And part of the deal was that they had to set up a junior band with the old instruments. And I've been taking it now for, um, for 20 years. I, I played all, all my life until about three years ago and I retired uh, and I was playing bass. Um, and then um, they were short of a, of a cornet player. So they've dragged me back and I'm, 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 now, I'm now playing cornet badly. <laughs> We've got um, 14 adults. Some of the adults are really top class players. We've got one player playing tonight who played for Grimethorpe. Uh, and they've, like me, they've got a bit older, so they, they, they don't want the same sort of commitment. So but they're quite happy to play with us and help with the youngsters. And then the re remainder are made up of, of younger ones. And we practice every Tuesday night uh, from about half past seven till just after nine. Uh, and then we, we do uh, jobs as well. We, we obviously go out doing jobs. Obviously, the senior band at one time was supported by CISWA, the Coal Industry Social Welfare Organisation. That's now gone. Um, the, um, the instruments and all the tackle are still technically owned by, by that organisation, and owned by the, but um, the, the senior band uh, keeps itself going by going out doing jobs and obviously has to charge a reasonable fee to make money uh, to, um, to, to, to make the standard of, of instruments, because some instruments are, are formidably expensive. Um, we, are, we are very, very lucky with the co-op because the co-op has sponsored us. Um, and and um, we've already got a stock of instruments, so um, we can we, we, we keep them up to date and, and replenished. So we, we, we manage to get by without without costing too much money. We do a lot of community events. Uh, we do the, uh, the 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 marketplace at Christmas for, for the town council. Um, we uh, do quite a few chapel jobs because we we can go because we've got sponsorship from the co-op we can go out and do jobs for free t for the for for chapels and, and you know and help them or not I haven't really got a lot of money brass bands are synonymous with mining communities yeah how important do you think it is to keep that sort of tradition alive within within our local community? I, I I think I think it's vital it's synonymous with the pit that they see it as, as, as really a crucial part of of, of what was what was the, the pit life, you know. And in terms of getting people interested to come along and, and join the band, what do they need to do? If, if anybody wants to, uh, to join the band, it's all free, there's no charge for anything. They get the instrument free, tuition free, um, uniform free. Uh, they just come along on a Tuesday night at, um, at about seven o'clock, seven, between seven and a half past, to the Miners' Welfare in, 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 on Central Drive in Shybrook. And we'd be very pleased to see them. We're a very happy band, a very friendly band. Uh, and uh, the, 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 there's no, never any falling out, everybody gets on really well.